This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just going to get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited, really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister.
I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, Matt. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Ah, I think, I'm not sure. Serious, though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy, if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. <laughs> What the hell was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. You got this floor? Sure. All right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost. Lost my edge, along with everything else. It was time to choose a nasty fall or a bullet to the head. That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. Hey, 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 
Come on, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Let it go. Let it go. Come on. It might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Tranquila! Tranquila! Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. Now you need a hand? No, you. Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's got to go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Bronco! What have you done with him? I'd done them enough favors. I didn't need to give them more of a head start. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive. Almost as much as I did. Control box was on the wall to the left of the gate. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Rodrigo! It's gonna be all right, Mr. Bronco! Everything is okay! You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. On. It's okay. Just stay right here. It's okay. Hey! 
Vocês aí, que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é, falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, é. cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Me ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Vamos. Me ajuda. Puta que pariu. Que merda. Você fez bem, Max. Você disse isso. Não olha tão bem. Ei, o que poderia ser melhor, hein? Os bons homens estão reunidos e os comandos de sombra estão mortos. Eu acho. Então, quem é esse cara? Eu não sei. Um tipo de cop. Diferente da branca da polícia. Não o Ufer, mas... Normal cops. Eu não sei sobre essa coisa. Política. Em todo lugar, política. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R. &R, the only way I knew how. I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding, but it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. I'm glad you are still with us. Come, I heard what happened. I've missed you. I would have called, okay. but you know how it is. Didn't want it to bother okay. Hey, Marcel. Marcel. I think I might have an interesting investment for your brother. Well, call him up, homie. I haven't I'm seen him for a while. Last week was Fashion Week. My God. Egypt, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh, yeah, I know Anna. Hey. Oh, 
Your table, nothing but the best. Nothing but the second best. Why can't we sit over there, man? I love you, but cloud you can at best. Cloud you? Fucking cloud you. He isn't even any good. If he were good, he'd be in Barcelona, Milan. He couldn't even make it in Germany. Now he comes back here, he's like fucking royalty. I'll introduce you. Nah, I need to see that. Just give me a bottle of champagne, eh? This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Uh, fucking monkey from the fucking slum. You act cool with me? Sad. Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What are you fucking doing, man? About what? What do you do about life? Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People. Fuck them. People get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Ah, my nigga! Hey. How are you? What's your bed, Mo? What's your bed? Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. Get out! I hadn't seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginner's phrasebook to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. There had to be another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. Oh, <laughs> 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 